So what are we doing today, David? Going to cemetery first or the <laughs> bridge first? We're going to the cemetery first. I'm just gonna keep this rolling. So we're at the Green Mountain Cemetery. We're trying to find the Black Agnes statue. It said that if you sit on the statue, then you'll be cursed and die within seven days. Where, which way do you want to start? You know what we could do? I could fly my drone around. Let's just try to go. This is the world of technology. Wow, that's cool. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what the hell this means. Fail to resource. To get resource file, please check your network connection. Let me try. Let me check my network connection. Okay, checked it. Oh, wait. What? Like way over there. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be you just reading this. So here we are, Dave Hebert and Jackson Stone at the Black Agnes Cemetery, the statue in the Mont Green Mount Cemetery in Montpelier, Vermont. That of a male figure sitting with his eyes closed, looking upwards head covered with a shawl. Like many similar legends, Black Agnes supposedly is cursed with the power to some pretty vile things to those who may be tempted to sit on his lap. The list of not so wonderful circumstances include a certain death within seven days and a range of just plain bad luck. Joe Citro, the Vermont expert authority on ghostly and just plain weird ex explains it. One thing remains a fact, the statue is bestowed with the title Thanatos, which is Greek for the word death. John E. Hubbard, born 1847, died in 1899, was a Montpelier businessman with enough wealth to have the statue created and watching over his final resting place. It was said that he contested and inherited a sizable amount of money from a wealthy aunt who had originally left the city of Montpelier a virtual fortune. He set about the task of building a public library for Montpelier, but at about one to third cost his deceased aunt had intended. Needless to say, people in the area considered him greedy and mean-spirited. John passed away in 1899 at the age of 53. After obtaining his inheritance, the executors of John Hubbard's will were responsible for providing a monument to adorn his grave in Green Mount Cemetery. William Paul Dillingham, governor of Vermont from 1888 to 1890, took on most of the responsibility for finding someone to construct the odd monument, now known as Black Agnes. It was created by Austrian sculptor Carl Bitter, who had run a studio in New Jersey. Description on the wall framing the figure from the back contains lines from William Cullen's Byron's poem, Thanatopis, Thoughts on Death, known to most all literate Americans of the 19th century. Thou go not like the quarry slave at night, scourged to his dungeon, but sustain and soothe by an unfaltering trust. Approach thy grave like one who drapes the drapery of his couch about him and lies down to pleasant dream. The line suggests that Hubbard did not die in shame, but met his death with a clear conscience. No doubt that the legend is merely that, but the fact is that many people would not tempt fate and sit on the lap of the mysterious Black Agnes. Some of the reported odd occurrences surrounding Black Agnes including glowing red eyes at night, blood-curdling screams, and other creepy noises. Some people believe that the statue was haunted due to the misdeeds and demeanor of Hubbard while he was still alive. Stories were told about a number of people who dared to sit in the lap of Black Agnes only to be found dead later.
Are you gonna be tempted to sit on it? Do I dare? Do you dare? That's totally up to you. Your decision. Red eyes, horror screams, etc. And he's on top of it. All right, where are we off to right now? We're going to Emily's Bridge. Others have heard moans. People who've walked through the bridge have been scratched or attacked. When driving your car through the bridge at night, some claim that their car gets scratched while driving through, or that they can hear something scraping along the hood of the car up above. Other occurrences including seeing Emily's apparition on a foggy night when the moon is out calling for help. So, if you're in the Stowe area, or if you live in other places of Vermont, and if you're brave enough to visit Emily's Bridge, then I invite you to come do so. 